Hi everyone, I'm Heather Baylog Roachford, co-founder of Wildkind, and today I'm excited to partner up with Sierra Designs to give you four tips to get you on the trail and help you and your family tackle your first backpacking trip. Let's do this. Tip number one, start small. We live in a world that tells us bigger is better, but that is not the case when backpacking with your kids. We recommend to our families to start with a local trail, maybe something an hour away from your house, at most. Your first backpacking trip is not the time to go tackle an epic destination hike. Not only is this gonna be more familiar for your kids, but it also means you get to spend more time on the trail and less time in the car. In that same vein, we recommend starting small for the mileage and the elevation gain too. Especially for younger kiddos, you don't want to do more than two to three miles in a day, and if you can help it, less than 500 feet of elevation gain. If you get to camp early, great. That means you have more time to hang out, relax, and play outside. And finally, we recommend staying small with the number of nights that you're out there. Your family's first backpacking trip is not the time to go conquer a five night epic backpacking trip. Instead, start with a single overnight. That way if anything happens when you're out there, if things go sideways in the middle of the night, you always know you're gonna be back at the car the very next day. Tip two, stay organized. Most parents can attest to the fact that it's really tough to stay tidy and organized when you have kids, but it gets even worse when you're on the trail and at a campsite. That's why we always recommend using stuff sacks to keep your family organized. If you have a sleeping bag, you already know what a stuff sack is. Any Sierra Designs sleeping bag comes with one to hold it. You can also go to the store and buy extra stuff sacks, and we like to use those to store our gear inside of our backpack. So we'll put all of our daughter's stuff in one stuff sack, my apparel in a different stuff sack, the kitchen stuff in a third stuff sack, and so on and so forth. So that way, when you get to camp, you're not opening a backpack that's just gonna explode gear everywhere. Instead, you're gonna have a tidy organizational system that will take one less stressor off your mind. Tip three, focus on kid-friendly dining. Any parent ever can attest to the fact that kids are picky eaters. And something about backpacking, maybe it's the fresh air, the sunshine, they often seem to get worse when you're at camp. And there is literally nothing more stressful than having a hungry, angry kid who is refusing the only meal you brought. That's why we recommend bringing meals that you know your kid will eat. And at Wildkind, we like to say you can worry less about the nutrition and more about the calories when you're at camp. We like to buy dehydrated meals that come in a bag, and we tend to default to options like lasagna or macaroni and cheese, because we know our kids will always, always eat them. Are they necessarily the most nutritious? No, but they have plenty of carbs and plenty of fat, and those are what your kids are going to need to maintain their energy on the trail. Plus, backpacking is a fun experience, and it's only a night or two. You can worry about getting those vegetables in when you get back home. Tip four, don't forget the fun. As parents, it's sometimes hard to see the forest through the trees. We know your family's first backpacking trip can be slightly stressful. There's a lot of factors to consider. There's a lot of planning. There's a lot of organization. There's a lot of logistics. What happens if my kid cries all night? What happens if nobody gets any sleep? What happens if my son blows through his last pair of dry pants and has an accident? These things can all happen but ultimately, we want you to remember one thing. You're doing this because you want to create outdoor memories with your kiddos. And if any of these things do happen, the world will not end, the sky will not fall, and you'll still head home tomorrow with a few new memories to cherish and laugh about in the coming weeks. Plus, that means the next time you head out, maybe you'll have a few more laughs and a few fewer mistakes. So again, we say don't sweat the small stuff and don't forget the fun.